Hey guys, Majeffries here, and welcome to episode 8 of Cities of Motion 2. Uh, as you can see down here, there's actually quite a nice little queue of, uh, of vehicles wanting to leave the depot road, which is good and bad, I suppose. Good in that they're busy, bad in that there is a queue. Right, I remember in the last episode saying about we were going to explore another form of transport. Um, and I've had a bit of an idea which I'd like to test out. Now, remember I said about this road here? few episodes ago and how busy and congested it can get. I'm looking to try and get rid of that problem um, by building a form of transport which is going to run either level with it or slightly off, like one street off, uh, that's going to carry people up and down. The only form of transport I can think of that would suit that perfectly is a monorail. So for the first time ever on this game I'm going to build a monorail um, and I want to test something first because the last thing I want to do is build the line and then find out I can't do it the way I want to so I'm going to do a little test piece over here so we're going to build a monorail track that goes like that I just want to see if I can build yep I can okay good just wanted to make sure I could build junctions right what we're going to do is build a depot first and that is going to be built over here Oh, that's actually just where I wanted it and then I went and moved it there we go uh, there I think it's a good place for it yep that's a good place for it okay so that is this is our monorail depot as you can see it's built slightly over the, the lake but that's not a problem that actually looks quite nice like that. What we're not going to do now is build a monorail track so from here straight down to I'd say about here like so and you can see if I turn it around got a nice line of supports holding it all up um, comes to the road here. There's just enough room for the uh, the trolley wires underneath, which is good. I think there's just enough room. Let me check that. Yeah, look, you can see there's just a tiny gap there, and then it goes across here, and currently floats in midair there. That that's fine because this line's going to be extended soon anyway. Uh, what I'm going to do now, in fact, I will extend this line a little bit uh, to about there. There we go. Now if I look at it again, there should be... Yep, nice line of supports. I don't like things hovering in this game. I like them to be held up with supports. If anything hovers, I try to destroy the buildings underneath it so that... Um, so that it doesn't look like it's floating anymore. Alright, what I'm going to do now is build some stops. So we're going to have one... Uh... Yeah, let's do one this side of the road. There, like that. Uh, it don't think it cover. Does it cover the stop? I think it does actually. Let's move that. Um, I think we've lost the shelter. Do you know what? I'm just, yeah, let's put it back how it was. So yeah, we'll have one stop on this side of the road. Let's move it up a little bit there. That should still be there. Yep, like that. And then we're going to have this stop on this side of the road. Um, about there, maybe. So, yeah. Now, pa passengers will have to cross the road. Uh, you might think it's a bit weird, because it terminates and then goes straight into the depot. Um, actually, I'm hoping there won't be a vehicle queue, because that would be a bit stupid. I'm going to swap these over. Eventually, one day, I'll make my mind up before I start recording. For now, I'm going to swap these over. So we're going to have this stop on this side and this stop on this side, like that. There we go. Um, so that platform looks a bit short. Let's see if I can make it a bit longer. It looks a lot shorter than this one. If I put it there... Yeah, we still got them on the right side. I don't know, does that look? That looks a bit better. Um, yeah, as I was saying. Uh, 
if there ends up with a vehicle queue, hopefully this is a long enough stretch of track so that it doesn't get in the way of this termination station. Um, and what I'm going to do now is build the line to the road that I want to go to, but I'm going to try and avoid... Yeah, I know where I'm going to build it. This bridge is going to be gone. And this bridge is going to be gone. And it's this road here that I actually want to build it along. So the track is going to curve. We'll branch it off about here, I think. We'll curve it off over here like there. And then we're going to curve this round uh, to there. Does that look about right? Oh, it's a bit steep at this end. Hang on. Let's change this a little bit. We'll do it like that. And then we'll do it like that. And then we'll do it like that. That looks slightly better. And then we can do this in a straightish line. And just thread this gap. So it comes along like this. And I think stopping it about there and hopefully I haven't destroyed that many buildings so none here I think I got rid of one on that corner there but that's not too much of a problem and then yeah a couple there that's, that's alright there's one on this corner that's fine uh, I might straighten this up a little bit more at a later date but for now in fact I think I'll do that now looking at it just a little bit better from there to there. Um, I'll draw that straight out like that. And I can delete this section of track. And I can delete this section of track. And then if I do another one coming out like that. But I think I can just link these up now. There we go, that looks better. And then delete that section. So there's a bit of a sharp curve there. Again, I can I can correct that at a later date if need be. Uh, there's a little kink there as well, but I'm not too bothered about that right now. Uh, right, now this section here. I need a junction. Because basically, I'm going to have a straight line running along like that. It would be cool if it let me build it like that, but it won't. So what I'm going to do instead is have the track go alongside the main road here like this um, and then this is going to carry on in this direction let's build it to about there in fact now I've got rid of that building let's build it a bit longer now you see I've just run out of money uh, and then it's going to do the same thing in this direction as well uh, and then what I'm going to do is build a line that goes this way and links up to it there and a line that goes this way and links up there so then I'm going to have a main trunk monorail that runs from north to south through this main part of the city um, if I have another idea for this but I might wait until I've got a lot more money to do that uh, so we have a main trunk road that goes from north to south uh, along this main road but the way it, it links up, you can go from the north into the here, or you can go from the south into here, and then you can go from this direction, south and north. And we'll do the same thing as we did with the trams and the trolleys, where we're going to have one line that runs from north to the centre, and one line that runs from south to the centre. Uh, and that, that's really annoying me, that little kink. Uh, and that should be where the money comes in. Because we'll have two lines doing the job of one. You can see we're back in profit. Um... This second trolley line was a stroke of genius, actually, because it's more than doubled our money. Uh, the trams is our second highest. Buses are actually our highest earner, which is a surprise for me. Uh, I was not expecting that. I thought the uh, the trams are normally my highest earners, so I was expecting that to be the same. Um, I'm going to see how much it would cost to rebuild this section of monorail track. Uh, let's do it so that I don't ruin what I've already built. I don't even have enough money to build a spur. That's annoying. I was hoping to actually have the monorail 
built and running in this episode. But I don't think that's going to work. Even if we just had the like the north side running, but it definitely doesn't look like it's going to work. Um. I'm just thinking actually, I, th I believe I s saved. I was wondering about reloading the game, because we've lost some key buildings over here as well. Like this stretch here we lost the buildings for. Uh, in fact, look, there's a prime example of the traffic I'm talking about. All these uh, traffic lights are causing this traffic build up, which becomes a right pain if you've got buses trying to run through the centre of that. So this monorail is designed to uh, alleviate that problem. In fact, I am wondering now if a monorail was the best idea. Because I've got all those tall buildings we're going to end up losing. I'm sure I'll come up with an alternative. Yeah, we'll do, we'll do a bit of route surveillance and see what we can come up with. For now, though, we do need some money. Um, I'm not I'm going to try and take out as few bank loans as possible now. So I can afford to delete that section. So I'm going to do that. It's just rebuilding afterwards. I mean, actually, the money's coming in quite fast. So I might be able to afford to build it this way, actually. There. And then I can get rid of this bit. No, I can't because I haven't got enough money. I can get rid of that bit. And then once I've got the money... Uh, yep, I can get rid of that bit. And then try and straighten this all out a little bit. So let's build that there. No, let's build it there. And then it should straighten out a little bit to there. And then I'll be able to bring it round. To like there. And then that's pretty straight. I just need £3,000 in order to build it. Um, so I can sit here and wait, I can speed up time, and then just sit and wait, uh, I could end up cutting this bit out guys, although I might as well talk to you guys whilst we're waiting, because it might not take that long, we'll see how long it takes, if it's taking a little bit long then I'll cut it out, but for now uh, I'll just sit and talk to you guys about my future plans for this city, so you can see this big grass area, uh, let's see if I can move the mouse. Big grass area over here. That's going to become our metro hub. So there'll be a depot either in this park area or let's say a block or two away. Um, and then there's going to be, I'd say, six platforms maybe, all going in different directions. Uh, tracks right next to each other, of course. Um, and that's that's going to be the main hub of the metro, and that's what's going to make this central city hub so congested and busy it's going to be all the the passengers wanting to get on the metro um, and then the metro itself is going to run might have a, a orbital loop around the north island and then an orbital loop around the south island and then a spur lines that come to these sections here uh, that's the plan uh, whether I can actually build all that before I complete this level and move on we I don't know what I do know is that the last mission let's call it of the game is to come back to this city and finish it off pretty much so first two missions are set in this city so even once we've completed this one there's still a second one we can do uh, and then we go off to other cities and do some other stuff there and then eventually we come back here again for the, uh, the final uh, the final mission of the game so far I'm hoping they bring out some more because uh, Cities in Motion the first one just when you thought you'd finished it they brought out new cities which you could download and, and play on as well um, and that's kind of something else I liked about the game but I'm glad they haven't done on this one is like uh, San Francisco and I think it was Amsterdam and um, what was the other one Paris I think they had uh, on the original cities in motion you can play in all of those cities on this one I like the fact that you can have these generic cities like they don't really have a name I think this one's called Central City but it's not a real city so you can do whatever you like with it uh, which I think is pretty cool um, so yeah you can end up demolishing buildings which is what I've sort of accidentally done 
Um, do you know what, thinking about it, that monorail line, I will happily demolish those buildings at the side of the main road there, just so I can get this monorail line built in. It might be expensive, taking down those skyscrapers, but then the benefits, I can build things underneath as well, like little bus stops and uh, spur routes and pedestrian streets and things like that. Um, and I might actually build like two one-way streets rather than one avenue and see if that helps with congestion. Um, because that, that becomes such a pain on this map especially, that middle central road that you just saw. Uh, the other side of the bridge, you, you saw it turn into a highway, or like a f highway, freeway, we call it a motorway. Um, and that's where the congestion really starts, where it goes from that highway into a normal avenue. There's so many cars that come flooding through and there's just no room for them. Uh, the traffic lights are too close together. There's too many other streets that go onto it, so there's more cars coming from there as well. Uh, it just becomes a, a, a logistical nightmare. It is horrendous. Um, do you know what, guys? I said I wouldn't do it, but this is taking too long. So we're 3,000 in green at the moment, so I can actually afford to take another 50,000 loan. And now we're swimming in money again. Uh, I can put this back into real time and let's just quickly correct this mistake start from let's see if I can do this properly first I'm going to delete it from here I'm going to delete that bit as well right let's try again shall we so it's going to come in a straight line down to here, and then another straight line to here, and then it's going to, sorry, straight line to there, and then it's going to curve off this way, to here, and then it's going to stop again here, and then it's going to curve back into a straight line here, and then it's going to connect up there. That looks slightly better, it's definitely better curvature. That little kink is again going to annoy me, but it's not really much I can do about that now. Right. The other thing I was going to try. Can I build monorail lines underground? Nope, I can only build them above ground. Okay, that answers that question then. Um, right. So now it's time to extend this line. This way. There's a gap there. If I can fit this through that gap, it's a bit of damage going on there. But then in the long term, it'll be beneficial to the city. Uh, yeah, the one thing I'm a bit worried about is demolishing these large buildings. So I might swap the monorail to that side of the road and then just keep swapping it over as to where the small buildings are. So. From here, it will go over there, and then it will slalom back this way, and it might loop round the building that way, and then come back into the, the main road again here. I think, yeah, that's probably the best plan. How are we doing for time? We've got a couple of minutes left. I'll just, I'll waste the last couple of minutes just connecting this little bit up how I want, to, how I want it to go, and then I think we'll call this an episode, guys. Right, so we want it to go like that, and then say like that and then we want it to loop round yeah that's not going to work hang on let me try again like that oh that's really steep like that maybe and then does that work if I loop it round like that that's kind of good again you got that annoying kink there must be a way to get rid of that Like that, maybe. That's pretty good. Probably not going to get it much better than that. And then we do the same on this side. So, what was it there? And then there. And then there. And then that hooks up. Like that. Again, there's a bit realism. That's not really what a monorail beam is meant to look like. But that's fine. Right, and then this gap here, we're going to have a big, I'll say big, 
as big as I can get it, monorail stop like that and this is going to be the main connection point between north and south Let's see if I can uh, make that a little closer to the edge there uh, yeah that's pretty good and again it's on the same side of the street so they can just walk from one to the other quite easily not get in the way a um, couple more stations I think I can have one uh, oops basic ones now uh, one on this side, so can't have a stop there. That's fine. I'll just delete that bit like so. Now I can. can build what I like now. Right, so we'll have one on this side of the road. There. And we'll have one on this side of the road. There. So it does mean that passengers have to find somewhere to cross the road. The nearest crossing point is here. So that's what they're going to have to do. They might go up this way, actually. It's up to them. It's purely up to them. And that's the spur line built. So they'll come out of the depot to this first stop, which I will rename, um, to this stop. And then they'll either go this way around or they'll go this way around and stop at either of these two stops. And then they're off in whatever direction they fancy. I might build the southern end first. You can see it's a lot easier to thread the monorail through. And then eventually I'm going to try and run it down the middle of this if I can, it's a bit tight. It's a bit tight. If I can do it, though, it'd be fantastic. As long as the stops don't end up on this road, which hopefully they don't, and then I'll just keep running it down. At this point, I think it'd be running underneath the freeway, which would be cool as well. And then uh, somewhere around here, I think it will terminate. It might carry over onto this island, but I doubt it. Uh, so yeah, I think that's it for this episode, guys. So. You've just heard my plans for the next episode, maybe the one after that. This is probably the most ambitious project in this city so far. Uh, but when it's completed, it will be fantastic. There will be so many more passengers moving around the city. Uh, the money coming in will be a massive benefit. I'm just going to quickly check. So you can see we're still operating at a profit, so that's good. Uh, and that will definitely rise again once this is completed. Um, so yeah, that's it for this episode, guys. What's left for me to say is thank you very much for watching. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, be sure to click the subscribe button. If you have subscribed to my channel, thank you guys for your continued support. And until next time, I will see you soon.